Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 3.0. We're on episode number 15 today. What are we doing today? Well, we're going to do a little this and a little that and a little this and a little that. We're just going to like hang out for a little while and see what we can get done around here. I got a list of things I want to work on. So just hang with me for a few minutes and we'll do a little bit of everything today. All right, let's see. Where do I want to start? I don't really know. You know, how about fluid ducts? We haven't messed with fluid ducts yet. We've got the energy duct. we got the iron the item duct. If we have no fluid ducts, I'm ready to get rid of these fluid these transfer pipes and turn them into fluid ducts. And what we need, we need glass. And just go ahead and change this to all smelting. So now we're going to go ahead and get glass that has uh, hardened glass, I believe it's called. Just see what comes out of there in just a minute. Actually, let's let that run for a few minutes and then we'll work on something else. We also need to work on, you see, uh, hmm, someone asked me once about a crafting table on a stick. Let's talk about that. Um, I like the crafting table on a stick and it's a great idea. Uh, it's really simple to make. Just go ahead and click right here. It's a sign and a crafting table. Uh, and it's a nice interface these days. I like the interface on it. Let's go ahead and get one of these and a crafting table right there. And we can have a crafting table on a stick. Just put it down in our hot bar and just right click on it. And we have a crafting table all set ready to go. Wherever we go, we have a crafting table. The thing is, we have them all over our little world here, our little island. So I don't really need it taking up this one space in my inventory. So I'm just going to go ahead and disregard it. Now, it's a great, great, great thing if you are on another type of thing besides the Sky Factory. If you're out in the wilderness and you don't, you know, that way you don't have to break it and make a new one, break it and make a new one. I really like the crafting crafting table on a stick, but not for our occasion here tonight. All right, let's see what else we're going to work on. Um, crafting table on a stick. Oh, yes, show me, show, let me show me. Let me show you something I did. All right, I'm working on these chickens, and I'm going to do a whole episode on these chickens. I've learned a lot, and I'm going to recap everything I learned. But one of the things, I need a black ink from the squids. And I tried making a squid farm here, squid farm there. And right now I am in a, well, it says river. Um, there's beach, there's forest, and I, I tried the beach, and it wouldn't make squids. I tried the forest, it didn't make a squid. So I just knocked a hole in the ground, put some water here, and just went down and laid my cobblestone as I went down. And I just got a bunch of squid. Let's see if I can get over here without dying. There we go. And I, down here I made a little platform, a little hole that catches all the water. And yeah, I just came down and got 18 sacks of squid. And there's some more over there. Let's see if I can get to those. So that's 20 all together. It's going back up. Going up. Party one. Top floor. So yeah, I made a little squid farm. And this is all I had to do is just stick a hole in the ground. And by them was river. Now I did try it. Oh, I'm, there we go. I did try it in the forest, and I tried it on the beach, and I just couldn't get anything to spawn. So, but I haven't had any chance luck with this. Now, I didn't spawn any lower than we are now. Actually, I did one layer level lower, and I didn't get it to work there. A skeleton died. Huh. I don't know where that came from. Well, let's keep an eye out. Oh, let's see. Let's make sure this is lit up right. F7. There we go. Nope, we need a torch here. Let's get out of the screen. I am so pushing so many different buttons. There we go. There, that should fix that. Hopefully, it won't nothing will come get me. And again, we'll come back and talk about that. So now I have all the ink sacks, but yeah, I got tons of ink sacks. Let me show you. This is everything I got from my farm so far, and I can even put this in there if I want to. So we'll just trash it. I have plenty of those. Let's go ahead and trash this stuff too. Let's see. E, trash. I don't need that. There we go. Or I don't need the bones either. Trash. Sorry. I know that's exciting. All right. So dun dun dun. All right. Let's see how our glass is doing for our fluid conduit. Our fluid conduit. Now let's go ahead and get some more of this stuff here. What do you call it? Conduit binder. Let's go ahead and get two stacks of that. So we are making a lot of this stuff. There's 33. That is enough to get going. There we go. That'll be 11 of those. And now we have our da, 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 fluid conduit we have fluid conduit we are going to make things so much better now let's go ahead and get rid of this 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 and this and uh, we'll we need to do the item conduit on that we'll do that in a minute 
All right, so we need to here. Whoops. Shift, 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 and shift. And I am going to make a hole here, and we are going to take it down below in just a few minutes. We're going down. All right. We're going to right click, and we're going to do extract, and we're going to. For some reason that's defaulting to a strange thing now. All right, we're going to extract. There we go. Extract. Extract. Oops. One more. There we go. And then we need to insert. And we need to insert. All right. Now we got rid of that old stuff and we got the pretty new stuff. And we are going to actually use this and we're going to run it all the way down there to my alloy smelter to automatically fill the lava right here. That'll be the next thing. Let me go ahead and do the other thing since I'm thinking about it. Like we said, we're doing a little of this and a little of that. I am going to take that and we'll put that there. I don't need that right now. There we go. Let's go ahead and break these off. Trans these are really good for the early games. I just don't care for them for the late game. There we go. And let's go ahead and do the item one here. Here. Here and here. We're going to change these to insert. 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 Yep, yep, yep. You got the you got it. And then we're going to export. Extract. That was right. And we're going to change this to. There we go. So now that's a lot better, I think. What do y'all think? I think that's better. All right, cool. All right, now let's go down below and set up this thing. Right now, how much lava I have in here? I have 32.50, so when we get it hooked up, it should be at 4,000. So, it's, yeah, I got plenty of fluid duct. All right, we'll start from here. Shift on the first one. There we go. And I can just hit the, the, the cobblestone, and it'll actually put it there. And we're going to have to go get my, I think it's the Yetta wrench. And I'll show you why. Because, well, I'll try to tell you why right now. If you have one of these things that have uh, fluid already in it, let's see. Oh, I didn't need to go that far, did I? It's coming down to here. And we're going to go here. And I can break this stuff this side. There we go. One more. All right, now you notice there's no lava going through it. We need to get my Yetta wrench. Let's go up there real quick and grab that thing. And where did I put that? Thing? I think I put it over here. My Yetta wrench. Yetta, Yetta, Yetta. All right, we can go down, back down. Whee! We're gonna put an elevator in next, I think. How's that sound? That went off do that anymore. All right, we're just going to right click on this thing right here and see it automatically comes down it starts flowing and everything is a beautiful and now if you look i'm 4,000 millibuckets i'm all set and ready to go right click on here and we have four all right just look at it 4,000 millibuckets of lava no more tugging the lava over here that daily chore no more of that stuff all right next thing i want to do is work on elevators yep little this little that I need 16 blocks of wool. You see how much I have down here from my sheep. I don't think I have much. I have plenty of string if I need it. This is not that one. Oh, two. Two. So I need another 14. Let's just get some string real quick. I have actually a string chicken that drops string. So we don't have to worry about that now. Just go ahead and I need 16 more. So that's. I need how many does that mean? I am going to need a whole bunch here. That's 12, so I need four more. Let's go ahead and get some more of this. There we go. Let's put it all in there and I can just take four out. One, two, three, four. Put this back in the chest. I need to get two ender pearls real quick. And those are over at my dark farm. My mob farm my dark broom good thing just run Whee! it's not like i'm running out of food and we got some ender pearls right here we need two of those for our elevators and i'm gonna go ahead and get this here and we'll talk about that in a minute all right so two of these with the wool around it we get a white elevator 
We get two white elevators. Dun, dun, dun. And we'll put those in just a minute, but I'm going to show you one other thing. Um, whenever I get like that, um, what it was, rotten flesh, I just come over here and I throw it into my hopper. And my hopper will automatically feed into the wood barrel, and the wood barrel gets sucked automatically into the chest. And I get dirt automatically. That is all I've been doing to get dirt. I just used all most of it up. I built a place for Botania. Botania, uh, that's going to be one of my next episodes. Right over there, I got a lot of good stuff over there. Let's go ahead and I guess put the elevator about right here. There's one. Let's go down. Last time I get to use the stairs. How sad. All right, right here, it looks like. Now, if you don't know how to use these wonderful things, just stand on them and hit space bar and you'll jump up and hit shift and you fall down. Up, down, up, down. Yay! <laughs> Oh, I love that. All right, let's go. Right. Let's shift. There we go. And let's go ahead and put. I got one more there. There we go. That's good. And. But damn, no more ladders. No more ladders. All elevators. Wee! I like that. I love that. Man, I love that. All right, let me think if there's anything else. I'll be right back and we'll see where we can go from here. Okay, I've, there's two things I want to do real quick, I thought of. Um, and it has to do with the watering can and a fertilizing watering can. And just get the watering can, the old one. We're going to upgrade this thing. God, I got a lot of stuff in my inventory. And we're going to make a fertilizer sprayer. I'm gonna, we already made it off camera, and I've been playing with it. And I want to show you because it's really, really cool. But just first off, upgrade this watering can. All right, let's look at the watering can. All right, here's the upgraded version. It takes the other version with some iron and some bone meal. So let's get some iron here. We need one, two, three, four. Let me dump some. I think I need one more iron. Let me dump some of stuff off. I don't need that, 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 that. Uh, let's put ladders up here, there. I don't need all this stuff either. Here, here. Don't know why I have all this cobblestone. We'll get rid of that in a minute. Put that up there. Get rid of the yetta wrench. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right, I think I need one more iron. Just go ahead and grab that. I need some bone meal. We got a bone meal. Let's look at our crafting table. And I don't need that in there right now. And let's see if I got everything. Oh, it's only four iron. So now we have an upgraded watering can. And this one doesn't have to be refilled. That is a cool thing. And it does a three by three section. I think it does a bigger section. So this is a lot better watering can. Let me also talk about this fertilizer thing that I was telling you about. Now this fertilizer can is really, really cool. So I'd need five for that, a button. Okay, I see what I got here. So I need four more iron. This is really cool. Um, it makes the crops grow a lot faster. Five, I need a button. Okay, and a button. And what else do I need? I need, okay, got it. All right, so just go ahead and go, let's see. Let's go to my chicken farm real quick. There's a lot of manure there. Chickens like to, uh, you like to let out the manure. All right, let's go ahead and take this. There we go. Now we're all set. Let's get near a water source real quick, and we shall see how this works. Actually, yeah, water source. Let's get a bucket full of water or two. Okay, I am ready to go. Let's go here. We are going to take a bucket of water, put one of these manure things right here, and we have fertilized liquid fertilizer in a bucket. And now we're going to do this. I need to make a button. All right, button's real simple. Just taking that stone, put it in there, and we got a button. And then we have everything else already. There it is right there. And we have a fertilizer sprayer. And this thing is really, really cool. All right, we need to make a few more buckets of fer uh, fertilized fluid, fertilizer liquid. We'll take that and put that here. So it gives, fills it up one time. Let me go ahead and get my buckets back. Come here, bucket. There we go. Need more, two more bottles. Two more bottles. Two more buckets of water. There we go. And crafting table. Actually, I can do this one on my own crafting table. I don't need to take it in and out. Put that there. 
and now we got oh it would help if I put the fertilizer stuff in it first there we go put another one in there there we go and now we can fill up our spray bottle and let me show you how good this stuff works get there okay let's, let's get some dirt and I'll show you what it does there we go uh, let's see my hoe is down and down here my hoe now this texture you'll see my um, mystical crops and underneath it you can tell it's really really a deep dark brown this is actually fertilized soil and what you do to do that Maddock out there we go. and this isn't going to work right because I'm not close to the water source uh, actually let's do this let's do this because I want you to see how this works all right we're going to go ahead and and see that's the regular soil texture actually let's have a little experiment let's take one of these I don't know if it'll work or not but we'll try I'll put one here and one there now this one's actually closer to the water let's see if we can just spray one of these uh, let's spray them both you see how the texture is and this stuff grows really really quick if you hold it down there you go it's like wow it's just magic and yeah I just left click like an idiot let's try it again you can right click and it, it's really incredible how fast this stuff does when you got the sprayer on but even just the soil being fertilized it still goes really really quick you can watch the um, particle effects and you can see them all the time like when we did the the twerking for the tree you'll always see there's more particle effects this stuff really does good if you have time just to sit we're also going to get into the growth crystals I said when, when I talked about these crops that they weren't that great but trust me I was wrong <laughs> I was completely wrong all right, let me look over my list and see what other things we're going to talk about real quick. Be right back. All right, the last thing I want to talk about is some food. I was thinking about doing a whole episode on food, but, you know, this this mod pack doesn't really make you want to do much about food. I really do miss... Let's go ahead and make it all the way together. One, two, three stones. Um, I did crash landing i love that episode and that mod pack because it made you eat different foods if you eat the same food over and over it quit giving you the value it, it just wasn't as good I, I like that because it made you and then i also made you eat drink water and you had to watch your water supply i really enjoyed those two things but this mod pack doesn't have it so i'm not going to worry much about food someone did suggest why don't i go ahead and get the uh juicer and make some juice out of it let's see and then juicer is just a stone slab pressure plate and there you go you got your juicer you can take some apples if you like and you can get some juice that way there you go now you just look at the, the value is it's one and a half muttons or whatever you call it and this is two muttons so it does increase the uh, food ability a little bit more you could also do like carrots so uh, let's see if I can grab some carrots real quick you can do all kinds of food um, there's also baked goods there's all kinds of stuff and you can take yeah, I was thinking about doing a whole episode on episode, episode on it, um, but you could actually go and uh, you have to get your bone meal and do grass, and you can find all the seeds that you need. Just take bone meal and the, and the grass, and you can just keep popping it. Actually, someone told me something. I'm gonna try it real quick. While I'm thinking about, you see, I got some bone meal here somewhere. There's nine. Let's go ahead and take that. I got so much stuff from these these the, you'll you'll be amazed what these things can do and we'll go ahead and hit this and you can get all the seeds for the cooking mods if you want by just hitting this someone told me this yeah it does vein mine works here I didn't know that that's cool I like that vein mine works on grass all right yeah but see you can get all the different food seeds let's see heap seeds what is that I got corn or corn I've had that before old root I don't see anything new though let's see you should be able to get every seed there is here's red orchid orchid hmm, that's been interesting um, but you should be able to find every seed there is by doing this that's the way it used to be I'm not sure how this works now but 
All right, well, that's just cool that the uh, vein mine works on this. Do one more time. There we go. Oh, I'm doing open hand. Let's try it this way. There we go. What do I get? Just as much of that stuff. Actually, I didn't get much seeds. I don't know how you get the seeds these days. But that's a whole other question. All right, so food is not that important to me. I have uh, now I have carrot juice. The carrot juice is what? Uh, same as the apple juice. So it's not really that good. You can also use these things on another thing. Um, instead of just letting our auto sieve just run, you can actually feed it. And right now it will give it 4.75 boost. So it will go a little bit closer. Um, in between episodes, I believe I got all this filled up. I used the screens, all the different screens with all the different materials. And I pulled them up there. So we should have everything screened out. I have two extra drawers. I think that should be it. All right, my friends, that's a little of this and a little of that. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like. Please make sure you subscribe. Ah, <laughs> I squatted. That just messed me all up. All right, my friends, till next time, have a great day. Bye, guys. Ah.